The French language is spoken today by around 300 million people across five continents. It's the fifth most spoken language in the world and is among the official languages in 29 countries. However, it has been losing its place in some of France's former colonies, including those in North Africa. French President Emmanuel Macron admitted during the recent 18th Francophonie summit that French as a language has been declining in several countries. Mais qu'il y a aussi des, re des vrais reculs qui sont là ces dernières décennies. Il faut être lucide. Dans les pays du Maghreb, on parle moins français qu'il y a 20 ou 30 ans. C'est une réalité. So why is the French language declining? And to what extent will this compromise France's influence in these countries? France's colonization of Africa and other countries led to the French language becoming more prevalent. At that time, France imposed monolingual ideologies upon its colonies and banned the use of indigenous languages in a number of them, as the French assumed that their own language was better than any other. And as a result, French became the first official language in a number of countries, like Senegal and Cameroon, and the second language in others, including Tunisia and Lebanon. But among other factors that we will explore in this video, the advent of technology and the global scientific revolution catalyzed a decline in the French language and helped English emerge as the international language of research and science. While French became, arguably, more and more linked to the industry of fashion, wine and perfumes. Almost a third of African countries were controlled by France at some point in their history. And after World War II, 14 former French colonies gained independence after a wave of resistance swept across the continent. However, now, decades after gaining independence, many of France's former colonies in Africa remain critical of their former colonizer. Over the past few years, protesters in several countries including Mali, Niger and Senegal have been calling for the exit of France, frustrated that the previous colonial power continues to have an influence in their lands. This antipathy towards France and its history, military missions and current foreign policies seems to have affected its presence in Africa and the presence of its colonial remnants like language. In Rwanda, for example, the country's entire education system was conducted with French as the medium of instruction for years. It was replaced with English in 2008. This decision was motivated by France's role in the genocide that killed thousands of Tutsis, and the government's efforts have recently been directed towards promoting the use of its national language, Kinyarwanda and English. The national broadcaster still had uh, the French news after the Kinyarwanda news. It's afterwards that everything changed and French was put late in the night, around 22 hours. Now, the young generation of Rwandans still speak French, which intermingled with Kinyarwanda. But the number of French-speaking youth is on the decline as compared to previous generations. Alongside these anti-colonial sentiments that contribute to the decline in French, the rise of new economic powers is arguably another reason. France is not the main player in the African economy anymore, as it stands in third place. Now, the US and China, who have been eating into the African market, are the two largest investors in the continent. Moving north to some Arab countries like Algeria, language is also a sensitive topic. Some ministries started to exclusively use Arabic in their official correspondences. In addition, the country dropped the use of French in some universities, replacing it with English. The government also called this year for the introduction of English into primary schools curricula in response to global market needs and to counter France's colonial legacy. Another Arab country that is not clinging to French as it used to is Lebanon. There has been an undermining of the hegemony of the French language in social and political spheres. For instance, the majority of governmental ministry websites have English versions, and more than half of them use English as a default language rather than Arabic or French. Even in the West, the use of French seems to have declined in some areas. In Canada, for example, some figures are showing that the proportion of French speakers is falling in almost the entire country, including in Quebec, where French is the preponderant language unlike in other Canadian provinces. And according to data published by the Canadian government last August, the number of Canadians who predominantly speak French at home is generally declining. However, it's not a new trend, as there has been a drop in French speakers overall since 1971. Studies also revealed that up to 60% of companies in several Canadian provinces include English proficiency as a hiring requirement. And along with local markets' demand, the rise in new languages being spoken via people who have been migrating to the country has also led to the decline of French. Mais la beauté de ce qui est arrivé aux Français, c'est qu'il a été 
volé. Constamment réinventé. This is what Macron said in 2021 as he inaugurated a French cultural center in Rwanda after acknowledging the role his country played in the 1994 genocide. The French government has been reiterating its commitment to reviving the French language, but this has been on their agenda for a long time. In 2018, Macron unveiled the international strategy for the French language and multilingualism to restore the French language's position and role in the world. So will French leaders' attempts succeed with so many former colonies resisting it?